Hello, this is Kevin from kboss2hm.co.uk. Today I'm going to show you how to install a sitemap for Drupal 8. Also, the module works. There's a, there's a few different modules out there to get a sitemap on Drupal. But I'm going to use the sitemap.xml, which I find pretty useful. And it's pretty easy to install. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to jump into Google, sitemap, Drupal 8. Actually, no. We're going to change our Sunday simply to XML sitemap. And we're not going to go for the simple one. We're going to go for XML sitemap. I'll, I'll also put a link to this in the bottom of my video. So we're going to copy it over first. So here it is, 8.x. Copy the link address. Jump into the me Drupal site. It's still a new module. And we'll paste it in here. And we'll install it. So now we'll have to enable it. So it's all the way down the bottom here somewhere. So I'm going to enable XML sitemap and I'm also going to custom links as well. So that's just installed on there, so we'll just let that install. Takes a little bit of time. Nearly done that. And interested later on in the video, I'm going to show you what to do if you get problems with the site map as well. Um, sometimes it's pretty important to refresh the cache, etc to make it work because sometimes it just caches wrong so we'll put that right so the sitemap's now installed it took a little longer than I thought so now let's actually configure the pages and let's configure it so it actually picks up the pages So here's XML sitemap. We're just going to simply delete this. And we're going to add XML sitemap. We'll call it something really simple. Sitemap. dot xml and we're going to save that you probably not have the language it's something that was bundled with a uh, zircon theme so there's my sitemap now let's go to sitemap entities <laughs> And we're going to click on content. Now I've got a few different content types, but I'm only interested in a few being indexed by Google. So I'm going to click on workshop, basic pages, blog post, and article. Then I'm going to save that. And 
it all depends pretty much what what you want Google to pick up. But ads is not really relevant to me. And newsletter issue, no, I don't really want that. So that's been saved now. So what we'll do, let's just check and see if this site maps up yet, if it's created it properly. So it's not created it yet, it's not a problem. Could rebuild it now, but what we'll do, let's go, let's actually go to the content, let's see that the actual content has sitemap in it. So I'm going to pick on one of my latest workshops, which was installing Google Webmaster Tools. And you see XML sitemap, so it's you can see at the minute it's excluded, that means it won't be indexed on your sitemap, so let's include that now. Then let's save that. Then we'll pick on, let, let's pick on another one. HTT p to https so it's excluded so let's include that and let's save that If we jump back over the sitemap now, so that's all fine. So we don't actually want to rebuild all this type content. We actually want the the content. So we'll click on node. And then we'll save configuration. And there it goes, starting to index them. Which takes a little while. Let's quickly pause this. Good job. So after figuring out what was going wrong, I managed to get the site map to work and on this site for some reason or other it just it needed the actual link actually selected to the type. This isn't with every site but with this site it seems to want it so even though we don't actually use this. So anyway, we'll we'll jump to the front now, and you'll see that um, you'll see that it's worked and it's all up and running. So once we selected that, the site map was made, and basically that's that's ready to go over to Google. But you you might want to add you know a few other pages. Um, quickly show you. Come out of the site map for a second. Add another workshop and we'll just add that in. So 
So it's important when you want to actually put pages or nodes um, or content types that you included in the XML sitemap if you want it in. And you save it. And you run cron. So here we go. Let's go find cron. And that will update it for us. Takes a little while to run cron. But as I say, if you have any problems uh, with with the actual sitemap, it's it's just worth noting that, you know, just basically, you know, just delete the delete the sitemap you've got. I'll quickly show you. So you just delete that, you'd recreate it. Well no, you would delete it, empty your caches, also run cron, and add a sitemap, and then add your links. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you, and thanks for watching. See you soon.